Okay, um, Blizzard Storm, uh, otherwise known to the band as Wind Ships Ask, is a hypnotic bass riff which Ian brought to practice um, a couple of years ago when Stuart was um, away and we just stuck it to a simple electronic drum beat and performed a lot of sort of spazzy jam-like things over the top. There was a bit of synth, a bit of wailing, a bit of um, kind of really kind of over-the-top guitar um, and it was all recorded on this like really poor quality tape dictaphone that I had at the time and it occurred to me that um, uh, around about that time I had gone to see Wooden Ships ATP and the two things were uncannily similar um, and Ian having no knowledge of Wooden Ships had somehow channeled a, a gig that I had gone to and, and enjoyed and had somehow conjured up this really hypnotic, um, sort of sludgy, kind of ignorant monster, um, and I really, really liked it. Um, so it went on the shelf and we didn't really uh, look at it um, because we were busy doing our sort of proper songs, like Sticks It In and Defrib and things like that at the time. But one of the things that always interested me about it was that it, it, it totally reneged against that kind of verse, chorus, middle eight, solo, intro, outro kind of thing that we had going with the other material. And it probably pointed a, a, a signpost towards things that we would do in the future, like Nervous Heart or um, the sort of more experimental structures. But anyway, we left it uh, on the shelf. But when we went to the cottage uh, in February 2011, we uh, had time to, to look at it. And we rather hurriedly, the four of us, sat down and tried to bash out a structure for it and record it in a morning, which I think was quite ambitious. Um, the results were mixed. We had a very good bass tone, some brilliant drums from Stuart, but done through the electronic kit. But we also had some drums which were uh, lagging in the choruses and, and everything was slowing down in the choruses which again we had kind of bolted in whereas previously we had just had the one riff, the whole, well the bass doesn't change for the choruses but we'd had the song just stay the same the whole way through for eight and a half minutes whereas on this occasion we tried to kind of create a bit of change with the singing and the guitar and the drums altering um, and then we'd had guitar and vocals which um, as you'll come to hear repeatedly throughout this session where largely for guide purposes really in the end most of the stuff that was recorded by Andy and me that week was stuff that I would like to go back and have a, another look at and, and really sort of sweat on the tone but in terms of the bass and drums there was a lot of good stuff recorded um, but the, the structure was different from what we'd originally jammed as whenever we'd just taken it, uh, uh, first done it in rehearsal um, so it was kind of more of an afterthought and um, the thing that interested me about it was um, the drums had been recorded both using microphones um, but also the signal from the electronic drum kit had gone through a MIDI interface and so I had all the MIDI information as well and for the last two days I've basically been looking at the whole arrangement um, I've removed the chorus bits and kept the drums relatively the same the whole way through so that's kind of gone um, but that's improved the timing it's tight and it doesn't lag and also I've been looking at the information from the MIDI uh, side of things and trying to get that to trigger interesting things like synths other drum machines um, within Logic and creating a much more sort of muscular sound um, and I think it's produced so far something that's really quite different from anything else that we did during that session. And it'll be interesting to see how that fits within the context of the rest of the work. I think um, I would like there to be um, some vocals which again the vocals were sort of written that morning um, and I think in response to now some of the other melodies that are happening in this new sort of version I think I probably want to sort of react to that and, and maybe have another look at those. And I'd really like Andy to come in and put down some absolutely 
stupid guitar on it, like really stupid. Um, I think it needs to be up there with um, with a wooden ship song, um, and and I, I don't care if it just sounds like a rip off. I don't care. I think this is this is this is our shot um, at doing that. Um, and I want some sleigh bells in there or some kind of shaker um, and, and some synth, which which I've been fiddling around with anyway. But I think everything I've got out of Logic is a bit too clean. So it's been interesting. It's kind of come. It's, it's come full circle, it's come back to kind of what I think originally the essence of the song was and um, uh, throughout it all obviously there's this bass riff which is just spawn so um, it's interesting, it's been it's been an interesting couple of days but I would certainly never advise to mix well um, you have a temperature because it can make things seem very strange indeed. <laughs>